Okay, so you're looking at a foam stream M1200. It kills all type of vegetation, weeds, and moss. Uh, it's pretty much just hot water insulated by a foam. Okay, well, that thing doesn't work. Okay, let the record show that thing definitely did work. It was locked. Well, I found that there. out later. Definitely some stuff in there, for sure. That's where you put in your uh, gross juice stuff for this thing. Well, actually, that's diesel. Don't put any gross juice in there. Anymore. Okay, so here's a little walk around to the tank area. The tanks are connected so they drain about the same time. It's uh, 500 gallons. Don't forget your cones. Safety first, of course. Uh, we got some hose reels attached to the trailer here. Got your red and green and yellow light here telling you when to go. Okay, so essentially here we're just turning the thing on. That's going to turn on your water pump. And then that screen and the computer will come on. And then you'll turn your boiler on. You'll be ready to go pretty soon. Okay, so over there on the left side, he's holding the trigger down right now, and this machine's doing a full air bleed, so you'll see this uh, little bar will go up here, and once the bar is all the way full, you'll just press start on the machine, and you'll be good to go, ready to work, so it doesn't take very long, that little green light will come on there, and you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm complaining there because I had to hold the phone with one hand and I had to hold the foam stream with the other. So the wand is a bit heavy, so I'm complaining about holding it with one hand, but uh, it turns out fine. So obviously, we're this this is water. We started putting it down when it's at 187 degrees. Your ideal is around 204, is at least for what we like to run it at. Uh, but when we start using it, it's about 187, and it'll gradually kind of heat up. Uh, the thing is a little bit finicky, but for the most part, we really haven't had much problems with it. Um, but there is a bit of a learning curve on the thing, but once you get it, it's really not too bad. Uh, you definitely make sure you got to keep the you know trigger down all the time. It says right there on the handle to make sure that you know you only let go of that thing if you really have to. So um, you know, and again, right here we're just kind of spot weeding. Um, we did this last season. And it was a lot worse last season. There was a ton of grass there, but most of it didn't come back. And the stuff that does, again, we'll just have to hit this two or three times this season. And we won't really have to worry about it. We don't have to put the pesticides down. You know, people really don't like the pesticides very much. I certainly don't like to apply them. Uh, so this is just a lot better. It's better for the employees. And, you know, I definitely like this system. It's fairly easy. It doesn't really take much longer than Roundup does. Okay, that's actually not true. It definitely takes a little longer, but you know what? I'd rather take it a little, rather take it a little longer than than be breathing in all those pesticides. So I definitely do appreciate that. Here's some live action shots of me. Oh yeah, getting it on the foam stream. Make sure and get around. Okay, so right here I'm showing close up what it looks like and also the actual speed that we use the foam stream at. So it is fairly slow, but. You know, you want to make sure that you get that hot water down to the roots. It kills the roots down there. And then make sure the plant is completely covered in the foam because that's what really holds the heat in and kills the plant. All right, so I foam streamed the hell out of this like maybe three minutes ago or so. Make sure you get your coworkers to do all your work for you. That's key. Just take as many YouTube videos as you can. Uh, but, yeah, so I did this like three minutes ago. And... Uh, so here you can see like the difference between, hopefully you can see, like the difference between where it was foam streamed and where it isn't. Um, so you see it just kind of mats the grass down and uh, you know, but if I come back in two days, all that will be dead. So like I said, we've done bigger areas before and it turns out really well. This we are just kind of doing it, you know, spot weeding here because we didn't really have a bad problem. but. Last year we did this and this was all, you know, it looked all like this. And now our mulch bed's back and uh, we're looking good. So, all right, hope you enjoy. There we go. There's where your diesel goes. There's where your foam streamy stuff goes. There's a bunch of stuff. It does a bunch of things. That's where the water goes. 
This is where the water goes. Thank you, Dr. Second tank. This is the second tank for the water. You look about 225 gallons. Yes, 225. As you guys can see, there you That's go. Correct, correct. Perfectly tied These are the tied tires. To the, uh, trailer. Perfectly bolted and yes. attached. Very safe here. We have two, uh, two Very wheels safe. On the left, two wheels on the right. <laughs> yep, yep. Right back here, my right. Oh yeah, yum! You could also fry your French fries. Did you take a picture with the one? No, that's a picture. Look at this guy. You should text me. Who got me? No, you.